It's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm here today with Ellie, my little Yorkshire Terrier. And, okay, today I'm getting tired of her just yawning and acting like she wants to go somewhere, right? So I'm going to, I brought some of her favorite food, which is beef, and she really doesn't get it most of the time. She gets chicken. And we're gonna we're gonna just see if we can get her to move around a little bit for beef today. So I want to click here so that I can see you guys and um, see your comments. Here we go. And I'm here today. Whoops! Let's get my sound turned off. So let's see what Ellie will do. Okay, here's a little piece of hamburger, and she actually moves around. She's actually alert. I really wanted you to see that because she's never alert. So she really wants it. That is hamburger for her. Hey, Allison. Because I just, look at how alert she is. She's better now, huh? Not like normal where she looks like she's falling asleep. And she is looking at this. It's a little paper towel with some hamburger in it. Look at her. Look at it. Okay. So I figured out a way to get her to be more alert. So how about, let's have her look up. Hey, what about over to this side? Oh boy, she really wants that hamburger, doesn't she? <laughs> hey Robin, how are you? I've got my dog doing tricks today. <laughs> I just wanted her to do something, so um, besides just look so bored all the time. So I really wanted to find a way for her to be active. Oh boy, okay, she's having fun now. <laughs> Okay, good to see you all. Happy, happy Friday. And I want to tell you that um, we're having fun with Stampin' Up. Stampin' Up, um, you know, we're getting up to the time where we're going to have a new catalog on May 4th for all the customers, but we get to see it um, actually next Wednesday. We get to see it online. And they're teasing us today, and they're giving us little little teases and little clues about what the new in colors might be. And I just wanted to encourage you, if you're one like me who likes to see that catalog before anybody else, and you want to know the new in colors before anybody else, this is the time to join Stampin' Up! and join my team of sweet stampers. Because we have a lot of fun and we are following these clues um, for the next few days to find out what the new in colors will be. I'd love to have you on our little adventure with us. So I have a link up above about how to join, or you can um, message me or email me at peggy at prettypapercards.com. And I'd love to have you with us. This is one of the most exciting times of the year for Stampin' Up! demonstrators. This is why many of us became a demonstrator. Well, I'm going to put her down. She's been good at being, um, hey, Diane. Yes, yeah, she's been good at being alert today, hasn't she? So a couple things I want to talk to you about today, um, and that is next Wednesday when they do reveal the, um, the online new annual catalog for us as demonstrators, they're also going to release the retiring list. And I have been talking to you about that because I want to make sure that you get what you want from the items that are going to be leaving us. And we all know that the 2019-2021, hey Anthony, good to see you. Um, colors, in colors, are going to be retiring. Their last day will be May 3rd. I've been telling you they're already short on um, supply for the papers. They're already on the low inventory list. And these are the papers. Now today we're going to be using the beautiful, very light purple called Purple Posy because I really want you to uh, be reminded of how beautiful these cards are. Today on my blog I featured the extremely beautiful Pretty Peacock. That has been an absolute favorite. And if you want more of any of these things, I say get them now. I kept telling you that about the butterfly paper, the butterfly bijou paper, gone. It's totally gone now. So I I want you to be advised and be able to get the, these things while you while you uh, while they're available before they're not available. 
Okay, that's really all the news I have. And we, today, we are going to make, we're gonna make Easter cards. We're gonna make quick and easy Easter cards. And um, I wanted to feature a stamp set that I think might retire. Now I have no idea, but I haven't seen this too much. I don't really think it's been selling too much, flowering blooms. And I really wanted you to see um, this set in case it does be in case it is retired, um, you'll be ready to grab it. And if you like it, you can. I want you to get it while you can. It's really, really beautiful. Look at this is my favorite flower. I don't know the name of that flower. Some of you horticulturist horticulturalists might uh, know this flower. It is striking. And then I think these are peonies. So I've made two cards, and we're going to make a third one. The flowers in this set are this big, beautiful flower, what I think are peonies, and these look like daffodils to me, or they could be um, dogwood or something. I don't really know. Uh, yes, you, oh, hey, Marsha, good to see you. Um, yes, this looks so terrific. These flowers are 3D, but particularly this one, it is amazing. And I've stamped a little bit on the inside. Look how you can just see that so beautifully. And I put it on the envelope. It is a spectacular stamp. And so we're going to create this today. Now, I've, we're also using Itty Bitty Greetings. I wanted to make Easter cards. And the Itty Bitty Greetings, again, I have no idea if they'll retire. It's a two-box set. And it has all a lot of little uh, sentiments that you wouldn't normally see. And they're small, so they can go in small places. Uh, graduation, um, enjoy your retirement. That's one we don't have anywhere else that I know of. Um, and so I'm gonna use the little Easter blessings from that set. So let's get started. We are going to make a square card. Okay, it's four by four. The, the, the closed um, version and the paper base card base is eight by four scored at four and it's just perfect for a square card and i know what you're going to say oh goodness where do we get envelopes for that and i have gotten some envelopes from amazon of course where else and they fit it perfectly it's a four and a half by four and a half envelope so you could actually even make a four and a quarter by four and a quarter card if you wanted to but i have chosen to make mine four by four hey karen good to see you um and then i've cut out looking back at our samples I have cut a piece of the color card stock I want at three and three quarters by three and three quarters, and it's gonna fit right there. But we'll, we'll work with that later. First, we're going to stamp our beautiful flower, and I just got a big, big piece, a big scrap of basic white paper that we're gonna stamp on. I'm gonna use Flirty Flamingo. That's gonna be the color of our Easter card. And again, this is going to be an easy card. I wanted some easy cards to make for Easter. And here is this beautiful flower that we all loved. Um, you have to use the F block or you can put it on your Stamparatus, either one. I happen to be using the F block for it today. And I'm just gonna get it all inked up. And then I'm gonna stamp it, not toward the edge because you saw I'm gonna put a, cut it out with a circle die. So I wanna leave space around it. Look at that. Can you believe that? It is shockingly beautiful. Look at the detail in that stamp. I, this is why I had to show it to you because I'm gonna be sad if it retires. I mean, it might, but I'm gonna be sad because it's so pretty. Now, what I thought I would do, because you know the leaves, because we've stamped it in Flirty Flamingo, the leaves, are flirty flamingo, but we all know leaves are green. So what I've done is I've got my light old olive stamp and blend, and I'm just barely gonna touch up and color in those leaves. And because it's the light one, it doesn't color over all the beautiful lining, the beautiful shading in there, but it does just make it 
green, which draws a difference from the flirty flamingo. It, it lets them know that we know leaves are green. Okay, and I'm just going to barely bring some color down like that. You know, I never do my best coloring when I'm on here with you guys because I guess I'm not concentrating as much. I'm thinking more about what you're thinking and if you like it. So I'm just barely touching the stems and the green with the light uh, old olive stamp and blend. You could use another color, Granny Apple Green. My favorite green would be another beautiful one. So we're just gonna go over those leaves just barely, just a tiny bit. And then we've got a leaf up here and a leaf there and a little bit of a leaf there. Oops, and I forgot this one. I think this gives more dimension to the card, to the flower, the stamped image. And it's, I think it's beautiful. Hey, Carol, good to see you. This is the Flowering Blooms stamp set, which is in the annual catalog. It's not super popular, and that's why I wanted to use it today. Now we're gonna cut this out with the largest scallop circle from the layering circle dies. And for this die, because it's large, um, it's not going to fit in the little uh, baby boss. So we're getting out the big mama. This is the, the regular stamp and cut and emboss machine. And we're gonna, it fits my piece of paper perfectly. And I'm gonna put my scallop circle die right over it. This is going to help us to really focus on this particular flower with our card. And, it, and the circle fits perfectly around the flower. So I'm gonna put my top plate over and I really just set it down and hold it. And it, we're gonna run it through the Big Mama. And it goes really smoothly. I think this is a little bit smoother than the little baby. It is pretty. Okay, now let's see how it comes out. Isn't that pretty? That looks really nice, I think. And now we're gonna go back to the rest of our card our square part and we're look at how easy this is and you can do this with any of your floral images okay you can do this with any of them you can make a beautiful Easter card cut it out with the with a circle die you don't have to make a square card I'm just showing you that just for fun you can make another um, a different a full-size regular card and focus on the circle. Now I'm going to stamp my Easter blessings in soft suede just so that it really shows up. And this is the little, I told you from the itty bitty stamp set, these are itty bitty stamps. And we just need to get a little ink. Now I'm gonna be very bold and put this down in the right hand corner because it's on a clear block and I think I can see it and we'll see if it comes out even. It did, but I can't see it very much. You know, I hadn't tried this. Let's switch over to, I think we'll just switch right over to our Memento Black. And you all know when you make a mistake, you just turn your paper over. Easy peasy, right? And it wasn't really a mistake. It was just a, a different choice. So I've got my Easter blessings now inked up in my tuxedo black memento and we're gonna see if it shows up a little better now. Yes, it does. And I was gonna tell you, if you don't get that straight on one of the ones I was making for practice, I didn't get it straight. And you know what you can do is you can just, um, if you can't turn it over, if you've used it too many times, stamp that stamp on a little piece of um, basic white paper and you can punch it out with my favorite classic label punch. Those little itty bitty greetings fit right inside that and pop it on the front of your card, no problem. Okay, so now all we have to do is adhere this with some of our multi-purpose glue. Yes, Anthony's talking about the new in colors. We were given a little hint today, so they're keeping us guessing. And I'd love to have you join us and guess along, but you have to be a demonstrator because you guys don't, I don't know when you get to find out. Um, I don't know, I don't remember, but definitely on the 4th, definitely on the 4th for customers, 4th of May. 
So we're just gonna put a few dimensionals on the back of our circle, our die cut circle. And you see that the Stampin' Blends do come through a little bit. So you usually, when you use your Stampin' Blends, you want to um, have a second, you know, put this on another piece of paper because if we did it right on the card, it would show through on the inside, right? And we don't want that. Hey, Pam, good to see you. Okay, so now we're ready to put our, our beautiful flower on. We can turn it any direction we like. Look at that. Easy, easy Easter card. And again, you can do this with any of your, um, any of your floral stamps. I mean, I think this one is so beautiful and I really want to use it. Now, what we're gonna do is stamp the inside of the card and also, here's one of the four and a half by four and a half square envelopes. And we're gonna stamp that on the inside. We want the beautiful stamp to show um, and be fun on the inside. So let's do that. I mean, I look for really, this flower is so beautiful, I look for any occasion to stamp it. Pam, you love this stamp set, do you have it? Yes, Allison, May 4th is the date the new catalog comes out and that's when you'll definitely know the new in colors. I can't remember if we can reveal them to you in advance or not. So that's why I'm saying that because I just, I don't have all the dates in my mind. Okay, so we're gonna stamp the inside of our card. I mean, this is an easy stamp to stamp. Some stamps aren't easy, but this is an easy one with a beautiful, beautiful uh, result. Okay, and let's do our envelope. When you have beautiful stamps like this, it's a pleasure to stamp. Look at that. I mean, I think even the mailman is going to love it. I really do. I truly do. So let's put it together now and we'll see what we've got. So here's our beautiful card. And you can do this. You could just make a ton of them. I made two of them just in the past hour getting ready for you guys. And let's take a look in the in the annual catalog in case you're interested in getting it. And if you see it, um, if you see it on the retirement list coming out on next Wednesday, then maybe you'll definitely want to grab it up. And it's on page uh, 70 of the, an this is the annual catalog in case you want to be reminded about what the front looks like. And it's on page 70 right here. And here's some of the samples that they've done. They also did one in purple. That's beautiful. And they did color in with their blends. Look at that. And the sentiments on the set are beautiful too. I do really like the sentiments. Um, I've used thank you a lot. That thank you is really pretty. And there is a kind of a long leaf image there. But I just wanted to use Easter because I'm making Easter cards, right? Uh, no, it's Flirty Flamingo. It's actually Flirty Flamingo. I could have used Rococo Rose. I didn't really think about that. And so let's look at all three of the cards that we made, that I made to show you. So these are the three. And I just wanted to give you ideas. I mean, even this weekend would be a great time to make your Easter cards because remember, Easter is coming up on uh, uh, April 4th. I mean, it's almost here. It's You've just got really two weeks. We do, we just have about two weeks. So there are all the three Easter cards and they look kind of like Easter eggs, don't they? Aren't they pretty? Karen, <laughs> yes, sometimes you wonder why your mailman thinks of this stuff. I don't disagree. Um, so these are, your, these are your Easter cards that I've made for you today. Um, it's been a really quick Facebook Live because it's a quick card to make. And I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Let me read another comment. Marsha doesn't have this stamp. Oh, a demonstrator stamped them in all the in colors um, with self-colored leaves. And you didn't even look at the catalog. Yes, you, you can just make these fast. So I've already got three. I have two more Easter cards completely different than I'm gonna sh that I'm going to show next week on my blog. But I really wanted you to just see these beautiful cards and um, you even would have time to order really fast if you wanted to get the stamp set. But just use some that you have and you can 
you know, for this Easter. Okay, I'm just going to say goodbye because really it was a, I don't want to really keep you on a Friday. I want you to go relax. I want you to go have fun and even make a few Easter cards. So thank you so much for stopping by today and I'll see you next week. Okay, bye-bye.